The United States Department of Energy National Laboratories and Technology Centers are a system of facilities and laboratories overseen by the United States Department of Energy for the purpose of advancing science and technology to fulfill the DOE mission. Sixteen of the 17 DOE National Laboratories are federally funded research and development centers administered, managed, operated and staffed by private sector organizations under management and operating contract with DOE. History The system of centralized national laboratories grew out of the massive scientific endeavors of World War II, in which new technologies such as radar, the computer, the proximity fuse, and the atomic bomb proved decisive for the Allied victory. Though the United States government had begun seriously investing in scientific research for national security since World War I, it was only in late 1930s and 1940s that monumental amounts of resources were committed or coordinated to wartime scientific problems, under the auspices first of the National Defense Research Committee, and later the Office of Scientific Research and Development, organized and administered by the MIT engineer Vannevar Bush. During the Second World War, centralized sites such as, the Radiation Laboratory at MIT and Ernest O. Lawrence's Laboratory at the University of California, Berkeley and the Metallurgical Laboratory at the University of Chicago allowed for a large number of expert scientists to collaborate towards defined goals as never before, and with virtually unlimited government resources at their disposal. In the course of the war, the Allied nuclear effort, the Manhattan Project, created several secret sites for the purpose of bomb research and material development, including a laboratory in the mountains of New Mexico directed by Robert Oppenheimer Los Alamos, and sites at Hanford, Washington and Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Hanford and Oak Ridge were administered by private companies, and Los Alamos was administered by a public university the University of California. Additional success was had at the University of Chicago in reactor research, leading to the creation of Argonne National Laboratory outside Chicago, and at other academic institutions spread across the country. After the war and its scientific successes, the newly created Atomic Energy Commission took over the future of the wartime laboratories, extending their lives indefinitely they were originally thought of as temporary creations. Funding and infrastructure were secured to sponsor other national laboratories for both classified and basic research, especially in physics, with each national laboratory centered around one or many expensive machines such as particle accelerators or nuclear reactors. Most national laboratories maintained staffs of local researchers as well as allowing for visiting researchers to use their equipment, though priority to local or visiting researchers often varied from lab to lab. With their centralization of resources both monetary and intellectual, the national labs serve as an exemplar for big science. Elements of both competition and cooperation were encouraged in the laboratories. Often two laboratories with similar missions were created such as Lawrence Livermore which was designed to compete with Los Alamos with the hope that competition over funding would create a culture of high-quality work. Laboratories which did not have overlapping missions would cooperate with each other for example, Lawrence Livermore would cooperate with the Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory, which itself was often in competition with Brookhaven National Laboratory. The idea of regional laboratories to work with local universities for nuclear development originated with Arthur Compton and Charles Allen Thomas, though Leslie Groves later claimed the idea as his own. The National Laboratory System, administered first by the Atomic Energy Commission, then the Energy Research and Development Administration, and currently the Department of Energy, is one of the largest, if not the largest, scientific research systems in the world. The DOE provides more than 40% of the total national funding for physics, chemistry, materials science, and other areas of the physical sciences. Many are locally managed by private companies, while others are managed by academic universities, and as a system they form one of the overarching and far-reaching components in what is known as the Iron Triangle of military, academia, and industry. List of DOE National Laboratories and Technology Centers National Laboratories The United States Department of Energy currently operates 17 national laboratories 
National Energy Technology Laboratory Asterisk Asterisk at Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 1910, at Morgantown, West Virginia, 1946, and at Albany, Oregon, 2005. Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory Asterisk at Berkeley, California, 1931. Los Alamos National Laboratory Asterisk at Los Alamos, New Mexico, 1943. Oak Ridge National Laboratory Asterisk at Oak Ridge, Tennessee, 1943. Argonne National Laboratory Asterisk at DuPage County, Illinois, 1946 Ames Laboratory Asterisk at Ames, Iowa, 1947 Brookhaven National Laboratory Asterisk at Upton, New York, 1947 Sandia National Laboratories Asterisk at Albuquerque, New Mexico and Livermore, California, 1948 Idaho National Laboratory Asterisk between Arco and Idaho Falls, Idaho, 1949 Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory Asterisk at Princeton, New Jersey, 1951 Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory Asterisk at Livermore, California, 1952 Savannah River National Laboratory Asterisk at Aiken, South Carolina, 1952 Slack National Accelerator Laboratory Asterisk at Menlo Park, California, 1962 Pacific Northwest National Laboratory Asterisk at Richland, Washington, 1965 Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory Asterisk at Batavia, Illinois, 1967 National Renewable Energy Laboratory Asterisk at Golden, Colorado, 1977 Thomas Jefferson National Accelerator Facility Asterisk at Newport News, Virginia, 1984 Topic: Technology Centers. Betis Atomic Power Laboratory Asterisk at West Mifflin, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 1949. Knowles Atomic Power Laboratory Asterisk at Niskayuna, New York, 1946. In addition, Knowles operates the Kenneth A. Kesselring site at West Milton, New York, New Brunswick Laboratory Asterisk Asterisk at Argonne National Laboratory. Oak Ridge Institute for Science and Education Asterisk at Oak Ridge, Tennessee Radiological and Environmental Sciences Laboratory Asterisk Asterisk Savannah River Ecology Laboratory Asterisk Asterisk GOKO Government-owned, contractor-operated Asterisk Asterisk GOGO Government-owned, government-operated List of scientific user facilities In popular culture In the Netflix web series, Stranger Things, a fictional laboratory called Hawkins National Laboratory run by the Doe is located in the fictional town of Hawkins, Indiana. The laboratory is later shut down after it is revealed that a portal to another dimension called the Upside Down is opened and inhumane experiments are performed on children to turn them into weapons against the USSR. 